In this video, me and my friends turned these insane 1.18 cliffs into a fortress, and it should have everything we need to protect us from the people who live under the mountain. But how did we get here? Today, the server is getting updated. We aren't resetting the server for 1.18, but instead we decided to only update what's outside the world border. And you know, I wanted a bit of a fresh start. I took all my tools and put them in a shulker, took all the shulkers out of my ender chest, and fed my things to the bilge creeper. And with that, we were off. All the members that could be there got together and we expanded the world border to fly out to our new area together. And there were only a couple tragic deaths. <coughs> when we got there, we sorted out into two groups, the cave people and the cliff people. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't be touching those cliff dwellers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, 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 keep your dirty, rotten, stinking caves away from me. Mountains are beautiful, I'm going with mountains. As you can guess, I opted to be a proud member of the cliff dwellers. The mountain folk, the pinnacle pioneers. Okay, nobody actually calls us that, but still. Since we were all on the server at the same time, we decided to make a big starting chalet here in the mountains for our base of operations. Honestly, Let's go I through the middle pillar here. Sure. Yeah, with yeah, all the pillars around us. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, we're not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> my, my <alive. laughs> That's what happens to cavemen. We built it in the center of all these surrounding cliffs, which would come in handy later on. But as we were building it, a problem sprung up. You see, our buddy Lucid wasn't able to be there for the launch of the new border, so he came on a bit late. We thought that surely he would be on our side because currently were outnumbered six to five but unfortunately on his way over he ran into the cave people first and soon we received a menacing message over on discord chief had put our ally lucid in a cage we couldn't stand for this immediately we took off to try and rescue him i'll be waiting in the cave okay nice another one left sweet okay so go down and then to the right immediately if you're all the way down all the way at the bottom you go to the right all the way down follow the, the water okay. then buddy slide into the water I see them there. They're there. They're there. They're there. Oh, yeah. they're there. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Okay. Stay careful. Stay stay under the water if you can. Oh, there's Lucid. I gotta admit, it was kind of weird that Lucid was out of his cage. Although it's possible he broke out because there was only one other cave person on. I should have known we were heading toward trouble when I heard Lagging ask this. Are we gonna kill him or save him? I can't quite see him up, up there. Okay. They have a, they have the nether portal. That's where Lucid spawned in, I think. Or they yeah. or they made one. I don't know. Okay, they're behind that pillar. I'm gonna make a break for it. Okay, I'm oh. hiding in the portal. Hiding in the portal. Okay, Mayu <laughs> left. That's one less for us. Oh, Lucid is in the portal. Lucid's in the portal. Oh, he is. He's right there. <laughs> what do we do? There we go. There we go. There we go. What's he oh, doing? Oh, he's, he's trying to run. Wait, what is he doing? Get him! All right. If he does Lucid. resist, we take him out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was violent. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot. Oh. I think ah, some is good work. The lava. Here, here. Pick up some stuff. Pick up some stuff. Everyone get out of here. <laughs> Take the loot and leave. Everyone run. Everyone run. <laughs> Take the loot and Let's leave. Get out. <laughs> oh, I can see the sunlight. All right, we got to have a prize chest. Where's the prize chest for all of Lucid's stuff? Don't worry. We saved most of Lucid's things, and we put all his stuff in a chest and got him on a call. We wanted to see where his allegiance really fell, because that was kind of sus. That's a really, really thoughtless accusation. Well, no, no, no. You, you were not trapped at all. So we were like, ah, then you're either enemy or not. And then when we showed up, you all of a sudden tried to fly away. So so they log off. I get the iron bar down. I steal their oh, gear. But it's so okay. That shot told me everything that I need to know. I'm feeling right at home, right where I'm at now. Well, I guess we lost an ally today. Unfortunately, I logged on the next day and somebody had stolen his stuff back in the night. As a side note, it was totally Mayu because she says this all the time. The audacity. Now that that drama was out of the way, I finished up the house here and then it was time to get to work. I don't know about you guys, but I think this house is pretty gorgeous. ZL helped me a lot with that, so thanks ZL. Now we've got kind of a base of operations. Oh, the sunsets are beautiful here. But I'm already getting tired of using these iron tools, so we're gonna go mining. I know, I know, I hate the underground too. The cliffs are far superior. Cliff supremacy. But I need to at least get some diamond tools and armor. So we're just gonna head out down into the valley and find a nice big cave, not the one that everybody else is hiding in, the stupid cave dwellers, those little goblins. And I'm gonna mine for about an hour. Looks like a good enough cave as any. My plan is to go pretty much as deep as I can and then find some diamonds. You know, I was gonna pick up some copper, but I don't think actually lightning strikes in snowy biomes, does it? So unfortunately we cannot channel the lightning up there. This was an unforeseen problem. Please stop, back off. I'm so freaking good at this game. You know what, I've got the stuff to make it. I think I'm gonna actually grab a bucket of lava as well, just because lava is pretty useful. And bucket of water, because bucket of water is bucket of water. Can somebody in the comments let me know what the best way to mine for diamonds is, because I honestly don't know anymore. 1.18's thrown me off. At this point, I'm just kind of running around getting chased by mobs. 
Oh my gosh, see what I mean? Redstone, baby. Hold up, is that an abandoned mine shaft? There was an abandoned mine shaft in their place, and these aren't that far apart. I wonder if maybe we could find a secret entrance to their place. Please don't kill me. You know what? I'm gonna explore this place. It probably has diamonds, plus I want to see if it connects to their place. You know what? I'm also gonna take this rail because it could be really useful for moving mobs around and stuff. Diamonds, baby! That's what we're talking about. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Was it literally just one? Minecraft, you suck. Ooh, chest. Gimme, gimme. Pro moves. Use the glow lichen for light. Also, more diamonds? Come on, more than two. More than two. More than two. No, it's just two. Ha ha! No, you always dig to the side, my friends. That was three. Okay, at this point, I'm running in circles. Unfortunately, I cannot seem to find a way into their base. A secret way, that is. Of course, we know where they are. It just would have been nice to have a secret place, you know? After all that work, I've made my way back up to the top, and we have a grand total of... So yeah, six diamonds. That's kind of pathetic. So we may have stirred up a little trouble with uh, the whole lucid thing. Plus, let's be honest, it was kind of inevitable to cause problems when we split everyone up into two groups. Yes, I see you. Hey, yeah. But I really think we're too exposed out here. They're lost in the deep dark of some cave down there. And we got freaking beacons. Don't get me wrong, I'm proud to be a cliff dweller. But just in case a fight breaks out, we're gonna need some armaments. Okay, I've been mining for like two minutes and I'm already kind of tired of this. I really need efficiency on this diamond pickaxe. Unfortunately, I don't have an enchantment table, so we are going to make one. I know I could probably just ask one of my friends for something because they're still geared up, but no, I want to be independent. <clears throat> we're also going to ignore the fact that I no longer have an elytra, and we're going to go over to the village and grab some cows. This little village is a really scenic spot, and it kind of serves as a little neutral ground for the two sides to come together sometimes. It also happens to just have two cows in a pen right there for me. You know, it's nice to not have all the farms already looted, because nobody except me actually needs anything. Kind of sad, but true. I guess it's time to breed some cows. Ah, oh, yes, my friends, they're already in a pen. Very nice. Love each other, please. I predict that I'm going to get really good at water bucket clutches here. This is going to take a while. Be back in a sec. It's finally craft up some boots here. I gotta tell you, it is very annoying to walk around without leather boots in this update. Time for some genocide. Does anybody else wish they could use shears on cows? It'd just be like shear to sheep, but you get leather instead. Was that too dark? All right, we got almost a stack of leather that looks good to me. Let's head back up into the mountain base and see if we can find a good place for this enchantment table. When I got back, I ran into DC and we hung out for a while. He tried to give me some free stuff, but I told myself that I would try and hold out for at least a while by myself. You tempt me, DC. You tempt me. But I'm, I'm trying. For now. For now, I will hold out. I'll try to be, uh, I'll try to be a little independent, but if it ever comes to that... I know who I'm talking to. However, I had decided beforehand that if anyone offered me an elytra, I would take that. This will be the only, uh... The only thing I will accept for the moment, because it is an Get absolute the... pain. I gotta tell you, it is an absolute pain yeah, climbing is. up and down these dude. mountains. I gotta, oh my goodness, dude. DC also kindly agreed to take me to where the nearest end portal was so I could get some levels. And with that, I was set to enchant. Finally, we can enchant our stuff. Okay, let's check this in. Efficiency four, I think that's about uh, the best you can expect. Come on. Oh, it's just a, <laughs> whatever. I am also gonna make a shovel because shovel is gonna be really useful up here with all the snow. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. That's at least better than the pickaxe. Now we were all set and we can finally start building this fortress. We started by tearing down this part of the mountain right here so we could set up a big front gate. What's a fortress without a good entrance, right? I had ZL helping me, so it went pretty fast, and we quickly gave our barrier a good name. So I think that works. 575? Five, five. Oh, yeah. Have four, like nine, a haiku. Four. Exactly. The haiku gate. The haiku gate. That's a great name for it, actually. We finally finished up the front gate here, and if you ask me, that's pretty darn intimidating. I wouldn't want to climb a mountain just to run into that. I also made this cool little path up to the entrance of the house, and then we started connecting walls between each of the peaks around, until we had a massive walled-in area with our house right in the middle. Me and ZL also took the liberty of naming some other spots. You can see right there, Haiku Gate, also Horsehead Mountain, and Redstone Central. We even put them all on a map, so it's a 100% official. The fortress was pretty much complete, but before we could call it a day, me and ZL had one more mission. You see, Lucid wasn't the only one who didn't make it to launch. Branzi hadn't been able to make it either, so we were on a mission to recruit him for the cliff people. Where do you think he is? On those other cliffs over there. Let's go see. Some mobs died here recently. Specimen A. Here we have a sign that says, Welcome to the Cliff Sea. Also. <laughs> that, yeah, that's uh, probably the <laughs> biggest sign, I'm not gonna lie. Specimen B. Behold the evidence. Creeper explosion. Could it be below here somewhere? The village is quite close. Oh, oh, dude. There's a cave. There's a torch there. Yeah, there's some torch. Oh, I, I, no, I saw a name tag. That's, that looks like a Branzi. That looks like a Branzi to me. Welcome to the cave. He's right there. You see his name tag. He's right there. Oh, oh, I do. Okay, okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> was that you? Mm -mm. I think I would know if it was me. You think we should give him a helping hand? Oh, you I see, see his name tag? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here, right here. Branzi! 
No, Branchy, oh no! God. That skeleton is OP, bro. I'm literally gonna die. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I killed him. Though. I killed him. Because oh you're such a rock star. Yeah, look at that. Look, a palace. Look how majestic it is. Don't you want to be a part of that? That's really nice. I mean, you have beacons. You have a fortress. That's yeah. a pretty good selling point. Is that a gate? It has a gate. It's dangerous, man. It's dangerous on your own. And that mountain, that one up there, that's extra dangerous. I don't know why. It's it, yeah, it, that mountain. You sir, you I need think... some leather boots for yourself. Can I, who else way. is on the uh, the K or the Cliffs team? I'm sorry. The uh, it's oh. me, CL, DC, Sky, mm. and <gasps> potentially. You, good sir. After the incident in the cave, me and ZL took Branzi on a little tour of our base. But as of yet, he still hasn't decided which team he's gonna join. But that's all I've got time for, so if you wanna see what happens, make sure to tune in for the next one. And if you want, go ahead and check out this video where I PvP'd my friend Wreck. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.